folks, welcome to my class. Um, this is just a quick intro to my classes. If you have more than one of my classes, this will be the same intro in a couple of them. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on ways to succeed in this class. I know it's online and everything's kind of crazy, so I'm trying to make things as easy as possible. So I've got a couple of tips as to how to make your time in class go easier and how to deal with classes online. The first one that I have is really simple. That is try to keep a schedule. It sounds stupid, I know, but you may even want to like go out and go for a walk in the mornings to kind of get yourself going and um, you can treat it like a commute to school. Sometimes that can help. Um, keeping a schedule is going to also keep you sort of grounded a little bit. It's really weird. It's hard to know what day it is and everything else. Everybody is having trouble focusing. You're not alone. So trying to keep those things as steady as possible will probably help a lot. Um, the second thing, and I think this is really important, watch the videos as if you're actually in a lecture. And what I mean by that is take notes. Watch the videos as if you're in a lecture, take notes, and this is really important. At the end of each week, I'll be having kind of a, um, an open session. It's really my office hours, but it's going to be open-ended and invite everybody. So the idea there is if you're watching a lecture on a video and you come up with a question, write that question down in your notes because I guarantee you'll forget, especially if you have like five or six classes. You're going to forget whatever questions those are. So write them in the margins of your notes and then quickly go through your notes. When you meet on our Zoom meetings on Fridays, you can, which by the way, are not mandatory. You can just show up if you have questions or if you want to hear other people's questions or just get a little bit more insight as to what you've been watching all week, trying to clarify things. If you can't make it to the Zoom meeting live, there will be recordings of them available on the website on the uh, Canvas page. Next, and this is kind of a weird one too, you may find it really helpful to watch the videos with the closed captioning on, especially if English is not your first language or if I, t I, I speak too fast or you're unsure of some of the spellings, things like that. The closed captions can help you clarify all of that stuff really easily. It's an easy way to do it. You can watch the video over and over and over and over and over again until you're sick of hearing my voice, which probably after the first watching. But the point is, watch it with the closed captioning on and it'll help a lot as far as not misinterpreting some of the things that I say. Also, there are assignments and I will do my best to remind you if you forget to turn in an assignment, I will try my best to shoot you an email and say, hey, you never turned in assignment number four or whatever. Um, usually that's kind of a quick checkup on you as well to see how you're doing. But if uh, don't rely on me sending it to you. Keep in mind, I've got about 300 students per semester. So if I forget to send you an email, that shouldn't be the only thing that's keeping you on schedule. So make sure you watch that schedule. The other thing is the schedule and a bunch of other stuff, I think it should should be over there. Maybe it's over this way. It's over this way. Uh, no, nope. no, it's this way on, on your screen right now. You're watching this in the navigation bar over to the side here. You should be able to see things like um, the class schedule, the syllabus, which is very important for you to find and keep note of. And there's also a calendar function on there which will keep you reminded of what's due when in this class. So keep those things in mind. That will keep you on track, okay? Next, and um, second to last thing, talk to me. If you ever have anything come up or you're having a problem or if there's a computer glitch or something like that, shoot me an email. Tell me what's going on. That's the best way to keep things going. If you're having a problem with something, if you need a little bit more insight on something, or if just something has come up in your personal life and it's overwhelming and you've got to deal with something, please tell me about it. The other thing is sometimes you won't be able to make, make certain things because it's a holiday. There are a lot of religions and I do not keep track of all of them. I can't. So if you have something, including 
a personal thing like a wedding or a funeral or something like that that you're going to and you won't be able to make a given deadline, talk to me ahead of time. Give me about a week or so. Shoot me an email, say, hey, Dr. Pearson, I'm not going to be able to turn in that assignment or take the test at the given time because I'm going to be at a funeral or a wedding or something, or there's a religious thing or whatever. Just let me know I'm pretty flexible that way. When I'm not flexible is afterward. Oh, dude, yeah, I totally forgot to, um, to do that test because I was hungover or something. It's not going to work. So don't do it after the fact. If something comes up, now, if something major comes up, like you're in a car accident or something like that, then by all means, keep in contact with me and we can work almost everything out, okay? It's really important that you contact me, though, because I don't know what's going on in your life. Last thing, and this is the best way to guarantee a good grade in not only this class, but every single class you ever take from here on out. Guarantee, best way to boost your grade. And that means if you're a B student, you'll get an A. If you're an A student, you'll still probably get a better understanding and you'll certainly get an A on everything. This is it. Study with people. Get in a study group of three or more people, including yourself. Why three or more and why study groups and why is it so important? You've heard the old adage comparing notes. You literally want to compare notes. This is a lecture class. I'm not going to give you study guides or anything like that. So don't ask. But what is the study guide? Your notes. It's that way in every uh, college class you'll ever take from here until you get your PhD. So keep this in mind. Get into a group of people. You can do it via Zoom or Google Hangouts. What's more is if you'll notice up above in the module section, I have a study partner sign up thing, something, I don't know even what I called it, but the point is it's a study group thing. So you can click on that. It's a discussion group. You can invite people to a Google Hangout or whatever, whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever atmosphere or, or um, situation you want to work with. You can use that as a way to get to know other students in this thing. Chat however you want. I don't care. Use it however you want but try to get a group together to study with. This is so important. Why? Because in a lecture-based class, sometimes you'll hear things wrong or interpret things wrong. So you may say, no, I heard beam theory. Well, I heard beam theory and I don't know the difference. Well, okay, what's this and what's that? Well, if you have two people, it won't work because you'd be like, I heard this and the other person would be like, I heard that. And like, well, you're at an impasse. Three people is the key. Then the third person can go, ah, no, she's right. See how it works? Study groups are guaranteed in every class you ever take for the rest of your life to boost your grade. I guarantee it. So get into study groups. Use that uh, uh, technology that I've put up there for you to do. Okay? Guaranteed. All right. If you have any other questions or anything else, um, feel free to drop me a line. Usually the first meeting that we're going to have on our first Friday will be a big wide open Zoom meeting. Everybody can join it. And I want to use that sort of as a meet and greet. So you can ask questions of, of the class and ask anything else that hasn't come up in things like this. All right. Have a good one and I'll see you through the semester.